Sologenics announces successful protection using a bivalent thermostabilized phylovirus vaccine here to break this down in the Reader's Digest terms for us so we can all understand. Once again, is Chief Scientific Officer, Dr. Oriella Danini. Oriella, how are you doing today? Can you give us the 411 here? Sure, Michael, great to, to see you again today. Sure, I can give you a bit of background. So you'll remember that we've been working um, on a vaccine platform that combines a, a, a nice way of making proteins that we then use as the, as the, the feature in our, in our vaccine that raises the antibody response we want. So that makes it different from like an RNA vaccine or something like that. Uh, we just give the protein that we want the body to recognize and protect against directly. This is the protein, raise the antibody to the protein. Um, we combine it with a, a novel adjuvant we've had a lot of success with. Um, and then what we do is we manufacture it in a way so that it's very stable uh, at multiple temperatures. So at the end of the day, this vaccine comes as a white powder in a vial and uh, you just add water and shake <laughs> before you administer it. So it's meant to be very stable and very convenient. Um, when we've been working with this platform, one of the places we've really been um, advancing it the most is in the context of filoviruses. So a filovirus, that's things like Ebola, uh, and Ebola has close cousins like Marburg, uh, yes. and there are different kinds of Ebola, but all of them are pretty much what you think about when you think about Ebola, very high <laughs> um, lethality rates, qu quite serious diseases. So we have, uh, there is a vaccine for one, one sub form of Ebola. Uh, mm -hmm. But there is no vaccine for what we call Sudan Ebola virus or Marburg Marburg virus. Both of those, there's no approved vaccine. And what we've been able to show is that with our platform, not only can we make a vaccine that protects against Sudan and a vaccine that pretends, protects against Marburg, but we can combine the two together in one vial and we protect against uh, Sudan and Marburg at the same time with the same shot. So a couple of months ago, we talked about the protection against Sudan, and here we're showing, and we can at the same time protect against uh, Marburg. So I'm that's guessing, yeah, that's what you mean by, by bivalent, you mean it actually, it protects against more than one, I guess, there with the bi, and it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, the bivalent means you have two different antigens in the mix, two different proteins there, so you can protect against two different things. Perfect. Yeah. And the thing that does sound the most exciting is how stable you're describing this, which in the areas you would need this, having to have something that's that's negative whatever Celsius and transported that way is just not viable. Being able to have it as a powder and just be able to throw it in with water sounds like an amazing advantage in this situation. Yes, we think the logistical issues around this um, vaccine are very promising. Also, quite frankly, the fact that we were able to protect 100% of the animals uh, in both studies was is really important as well. Uh, this is this is a very nasty disease. It has a much higher lethality rate than COVID, for example, and so it's important to have good protection. Perfect. Well, Oriella, thank you for coming on and giving us the Reader's Digest version. Of course, everybody, we do encourage you to go read the news release and report back if you have any other questions and stay tuned for another update coming soon. Oriella, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Michael.